Ascension and 2020, the surreal and divine now. Blessings, beloveds. Most of the 2020 Ascension webinar from January will be released in these articles throughout the year. If you would like the in-depth overview of what is anticipated, the webinar link is in the notes of this video. 2020 carries many energetic codes. The simplest interpretation of 2020 is a new level of clarity. Revelation of internal and external distortions allows for better decisions in alignment with the new. Whatever serves the collective awakening and your own journey shall present. As they say, hindsight is 2020. As the lower realms are deconstructed, there is a requirement for deep evaluation of what has been created. Another opportunity to uncreate and self-correct through higher choices, unity, and alignment with our higher purpose in these realms. 2020 is a leap year, more like a quantum leap year, with much acceleration and collective timeline leaps. The January Stargate and its effects. We spoke of this initial gate opening bringing global effects. January has already shown the new light influence and its intense effects on many levels. The vibration of clarity allows many awakened to perceive what we have talked about for years, that 3D and 4D are technically gone. Those realms are running on old light loops circulating in the collective consciousness. Many gain the clarity that the new earth realms are already here. This is wonderful because as a collective we get to witness the old creations dissolving right before our eyes. For some it is freeing, like a revelation. For some it is disorienting until their compass is redirected to the new realms. Anticipate that conversation spreading, dear hearts, even in the awakened communities. Keep in heart that your perception of and reaction to external events demonstrates your level of consciousness. Astral Collapse and the End of Solar Minimum Astral planes of consciousness are held in place by magnetic fields within and around Gaia. As the magnetosphere diminished during solar minimum, it allowed cosmic energies and brand new frequencies to penetrate Gaia. This is ongoing. We reached solar minimum last year. Sunspots changed polarization, signaling we are rising to solar maximum again. All of the gatekeeping and grid work of the last 30 years focused on utilizing the weakened magnetosphere to open, reconnect, and reunify Gaia with the cosmic stargate system of the higher planes of light. That work completed in 2018 when the crystalline grid merged with the new Earth grid system. As of January 13, 2020, we have a brand new gate and grid system on Gaia, which reconnected us with a brand new cosmic stargate flows. They open us to the organic ascension as a very lucid, physical, and somewhat surreal experience. It's a brand new level of consciousness. First embodiers are anchoring this non-linear new earth state. Embodiment changes everything for the individual as well as the collective. It accelerates the dismantling of outdated creations and healing events on a global scale. Now we rise with the sun and enter a new phase into solar maximum. This is very exciting for gatekeepers since we work directly with the sun. As solar flares and CMEs return, you will notice the stronger stargate system and energies they provide. They work in tandem with this brand new New Earth crystalline grid system. I had a direct experience of the new solar flashing activity in December. It is glorious and transformative. More on that soon. 
The astral planes assisted in our co-creation of 3D, 4D, and supported those collective memory fields, Taurus fields, that held those realities in place. As those structures dissipate in the new light, our collective thought forms, emotions, memories, and creations break down. Our DNA is a record of that, and the fields and strands which supported the 3D, 4D realities begin to reflect the larger operation, just as Gaia is doing in this now. As Gaia's old creation dissipates in the new light, our DNA does the same with our choice and our support. It fades from our perception because we have chosen a new point of focus, a higher level of DNA, and the new earth realms of love, peace, compassion, and unity. The physicalization of dismantling. Ascension cycles bring dismantling and deconstruction of what was, so the collective consciousness may evolve and experience something new. All is created in the etheric or spiritual realms, and then it becomes physicalized for the denser in-form experience. As the Christed Ascension timelines and new cosmic frequencies become physicalized, they bring the dismantling of the old. After slow drip revelation for decades, we enter an accelerated passage that physicalizes the ascension which has already been created in the etheric planes. Of course, all of this is happening simultaneously, so it is a change of experience, perception, focus, and energetic support for what we have already created. We begin to feel all of it at once, the past, the present, the future, the multidimensional self. With a heart shift to the desired outcome, the DNA will partner with Gaia to reveal new earth for you. Look through the heart and the truth is revealed. In this now, the physicalization of the dismantling energies is evident. On a global scale, the political, social, economic, and environmental choice points are presenting. Timeline choice becomes quite physical this year. Your actions are the physicalization of your higher choices. This phase may feel surreal or disorienting because of the strong influence of death, death of the old structures, old creations of self, collective memory field collapse, linear time collapse, the old grid systems, and yes, physical death of plants, animals, and humans. Many are moving on to other realms this year. Some deaths create mass healing or a pause for self-examination of priorities. The splintering of timelines is fully supported by these dismantling energies. Everything assists in the choice of reality. Feel the divine purpose, the higher perspective with this. You are experiencing an ascended planet shedding her old creations, just as we are. Physicalizing the spirit self. The Brotherhoods and Sisterhoods of Light presented some key transformation points for 2020. For the moment, remember this is a breakdown of the illusion. It looks like one thing when something else is actually happening. Anticipate and celebrate the unexpected. We are physicalizing these new earth realms and overriding the lower vibrational realms through our embodiment process. This is amplified with the assistance of these new stargate flows. The projection of self is becoming a new expression. This is a strong focus for the ascending collective. When you see physical representations of dismantling or tearing down of old structures, open up to the cosmic perspective. We are one being, having many experiences, appearing as separate to the lower consciousness, yet all unified. 
Seize the opportunity in the moment for evaluation. What part of this orchestra of self is out of tune with my heart's desire or attempting to get in tune with something new? Knowing that your reaction is your reality, what is revealed right now for your journey and your expansion? Embodiers know the death to resurrection sequences well. The merge of the higher and the lower selves is a beautiful, challenging phase of ascension. The body, mind, egos, emotions, thoughts, actions, everything is overwritten by the physicalization of the higher self. It does not happen in a day. It is a process. It is guided by your own soul, provided by your divine DNA to the level you can handle in the moment. Many times during the ascension process, there are experiences of death. You will witness and feel the old self slipping away, dissolving. It can be sudden, a strong awareness that the old self is dissolving. It is followed by the sensation of being on a higher trajectory. This happens consistently through the process. With the 2020 gate shift and amplification, this death experience becomes physicalized through the collective. Old timelines and dimensional experiences and expressions are dismantled. The old creation of self experiences death because that is the memory of how we used to transform from one expression to the other. It is a pattern in the death to resurrection experience that is being transformed right now with our ascension process. That pattern is being transmuted because we chose to have a physical ascension experience. Many of us feel the absence of the old self already, yet not fully embodied in the new. The die-off of the old is palpable, a very palpable experience affecting mental, emotional, egoic, and physical levels. Embodiers, you will feel all of your creations across the dimensions and parallel realities simultaneously. You might even see them in vision. This is where we are in this now, feeling a deep sense of source and divinity while simultaneously feeling nowhere everywhere, joyful, mournful, surreal, and empowered all at once. New earth now, dear hearts. We are realigning with our creator skills by wiping the slate clean, moment by moment. We consistently redefine our realities, our expressions of self, and level up. If you feel like you're coming apart, use your tools and practices to maintain balance during the dismantling. Many of us are weeping as if in gentle heartbreak, but there's no emotion or cause attached to it. This is another reflection of the dismantling energies. Death of the old self and the old realities. Clearing the way to be a pure conduit of the new self. For embodiers, this comes with a simultaneous euphoria of bliss, reunification with source awareness, and an overlighting sensation of freedom, creativity, and acceptance, calm. We work in tandem with the death sensation, releasing and surrendering to the surrealness of the new earth realms. It's a very different state of consciousness. It feels like a lot is happening, while in the stillness of zero point, which halts our linear experience often. The time-stop sensations are consistent now, the higher reality shining through our DNA. The stillness is overwhelming the linear. We are complete with everything that was created prior to this in the old consciousness. That includes transformation of the death-to-resurrection template into a collective experience. Some of our gateways in the next five months will provide support for physicalization of the resurrection experience at a collective level. You probably sense this already as things become more surreal and detached from the old creation. Focus on the feeling state 
of your highest version of self, of Gaia, take action on it, and stay in the peaceful calm of the heart. Articles on the major themes of 2020 will be released over the next few months. Kind while the webinar, webinar replay is available at the link in the notes in this video, and those topics include the death and resurrection experience, the March equinox, April gateways, and the very important June shift, the new gateway and grid system that shifted on January 13th, a very important message from Gaia about revelation of the new earth realms and that experience, magnetic and electric anomalies that are anticipated, solar maximum and the changes in the light body, self-realization and embodiment of the creator state of consciousness, the solar gateways and experiencing this new flashing activity. If this video, if these articles support your journey, or if you feel they would support someone else's journey, please share them. Further support for your journey is available at sandrawalter.com, and please join us for the weekly Sunday Global Unity Meditations. Details at the link in the notes. Let us show humanity what is possible with Ascension.